Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing with you this super easy fall makeup look that uses mostly drugstore products, but there's a few high-end favorites that I've thrown in here because I truly love them and they really make this look come together. So check the description box for any links to the products that I'm using today, but let's get started. First, I am priming with the Pixi Milky Mist Spray. This helps to hydrate and and refresh my face before putting makeup on and then I am going to target prime just my under eyes I tend to get really dry under there and I love this primer from Glossier this is their bubble wrap primer and it just helps smooth everything out it helps my concealer to go on a bit better and last longer throughout the day and I'm also putting a little bit on my lips to soften and hydrate them next I'm going in with the physicians formula the healthy foundation I wear this in the shade LC1 and I do wish they would come out with a lighter shade than this because this does oxidize just a little bit and it ends up being a bit darker than what I prefer but if I take it down my neck a little bit and really take my time and blend it in it is such a beautiful foundation you guys have seen me use this so many times I'm actually blending it in with the real techniques miracle complexion sponge which I'm usually a brush sort of gal when it comes to applying my foundation foundation but I've been back into using this and I love the finish that it gives my foundation everything just looks very flawless but natural at the same time and I love that Next, I'm going in with my all-time favorite concealer. Honestly, I have yet to find something as good as the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm using my little mini version because this is the lighter one of the shades that I have, and I definitely no longer have a tan anymore from the summertime. So I have a little bit of this left. I have to go and buy myself the bigger version of this shade. But uh, something that I've actually recently discovered with blending in concealer is if I put a dab of the foundation that I'm using Using, mixed in with that concealer before I blend it out it just blends very seamlessly into the rest of my foundation on my face and I've really been enjoying the result when I do it this way I'm bringing a little bit of that concealer up over my eyelids to prime them as well and as you can see the two complexion products that I've used so far give good coverage but not complete full coverage and that's how I like it lately I do like some of my imperfections and flaws to show through just to add a little bit of realness to my complexion. To set my face, I am using an old favorite of mine. This is the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Press Powder, or at least what's left of it. I've actually been challenging myself to use as much of my makeup products up as I can before purchasing new ones, and you'll see with other products that I've been hitting pan a lot. But I'm just blending that all over my face with this dual fiber brush from Morphe. The brushes and tools I use are also linked in the description box if you guys are curious or if I happen to get a name wrong while I'm narrating this. And I'm using that same brush for my blush and bronzer as well. So my bronzer today is the Pure Cosmetics Bronzing Act Blush in the shade Light. I hit pan on this as well, I'm very proud to say, and it's still going strong. I've gotten so much use out of this, even though it is a bit more expensive of a product than what you could find at the drugstore. I've found that it is such a high quality product that it's actually lasted me a really long time and I love the result. Next, I'm using a drugstore favorite. This is the Burt's Bees blush in the shade Shy Pink. And I've been taking my blush higher up on the apples of my cheeks and almost onto my eyelid a little bit. I love the doll-like and more youthful effect that this gives. And if my blush gets a little bit heavy, I will go back in with that Miracle Complexion sponge and just buff it out and make it nice and blended and seamless. Next, I'm going to work on my brows. And first, I'm just gonna take a basic spoolie and brush my brow hairs in the direction they should be going. My individual brow hairs are actually pretty long and they get tangled up if you can imagine that. So sometimes I have to brush them, detangle them a little bit before going in with my current favorite brow product and I actually mentioned this in my fall favorites video. This is the Glossier Brow Flick and I wear the shade brown in this product and I just with a very very light hand like 
as light of a hand as I can get away with. I will draw on individual hairs at the head of my brow and then fill in any sparse areas throughout the tail. And then I am using the Glossier Boy Brow product, which is an old favorite of mine, in my brow to set it and to manipulate the hairs to look as feathery as I can. And this next product is the star of this tutorial. I love this palette by Milani. It's called the Most Love Mattes Eyeshadow Palette, and it is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just taking this deeper camel shade in the crease, and as I've showed you in my tutorials before, I'm actually taking my crease shade up a little bit higher than what you would typically see in other makeup tutorials, because I want my eyelids to not look as sunken in as they actually are, especially as I get older. So I am going to take this deeper shade, which kind of has this orangey undertone, deeper into the crease, but bringing the color up a little higher and onto my brow bone just adds a dimension to my eye that I think is most flattering for my eye shape. And that's something that I always suggest you do. Take any makeup tutorial and figure out how to make it work for your individual face shape. I am taking some of that color out toward the side of my brow bone, drawing it out a little bit just to elongate the eye and make it a little bit more uh, elegant or glamorous. And then I'm taking this shade, which has this gorgeous plum undertone. It's like a plum brown on the outer V of my eyelid. Also bringing some of that shade up over my brow bone so that the darkest part doesn't get sunken into my eye socket. I'm just taking that Morphe blending brush that I was using before in my crease to continue to blend out that darker shade so that each of the shades blend seamlessly into each other and there's no skipping or patchiness. Next, I'm taking this Physicians Formula Cole Eyeliner Pencil. This is in their black shade, and I am putting a very thin line right next to my upper lash line and then on my lower water line. And then I'm going to take this e.l.f. smudging brush and really start to smudge that line using a little bit of that camel color in the eyeshadow palette to smoke it out, make it a little bit smudgy. You guys have seen me do this so many times but honestly this is my go-to way to do my eyeshadow and I think for my eye color and my eye shape it's actually quite flattering it adds a little bit more glam to a look without adding a ton of work and this is my favorite little trick Next, I'm going to run some of that orangey shade underneath my lower lash line just to smoke that out a little bit and make the whole eye look come together. I like using the shades that I used in my crease on my lower lash line just to make it all nice and cohesive. And then I'm going in with that plum dark brown as close to my lash line as I can to kind of create a gradient from the black in my waterline to that camel shade lower down on my lash line. And then I'm just going in and buffing and blending a little bit more just to make sure that everything is blended well and looks even from eye to eye. And then I'm taking this really pretty mauve sort of peachy color, which is kind of a funny thing to say, but in some lights it looks mauve and in some lights it looks peachy, which you'll see in this video. And I'm just applying some of that to my eyelid. And then I'm just taking some of this lightest shade in the palette. It's kind of like a bone shade. In my inner corner, I've been highlighting with matte shades recently and I really think it's very flattering. Next I'm going in with my all-time favorite mascara. You guys have seen me use this so many times before. This is the Bad Gal Bang Mascara by Benefit and it's absolutely beautiful and my favorite part about it is that it lasts so long and as a mom I definitely need that because not only am I dealing with my own emotions throughout the day but also my kids emotions and things get a little soggy. And then to finish off the look, I am going in with this Wet n Wild lipstick. This is Mocha Licious, and I featured this one also in my fall favorites video. I love the tone of it. It adds a little bit of vampiness and deepness to the makeup look without getting too deep. And you know my style. I like to do things in moderation. I'm definitely more of a nude lip girl, but I have been loving this color for the fall time. 
Next, I'm just gonna go in with my blending sponge and make sure that everything is still blended. If anything has shifted or if I've smudged anything with my fingers as I've been putting my eye look together, this is a good time to just make sure that it's all patted in and looks nice and seamless once again. And then I will go over one more time with that Pixie Milky Mist just to set everything and also rehydrate it, bring it back to life, and that completes this makeup look. Definitely let me know if you recreate this look or use any of these products featured share it over on your instagram and be sure to tag me at natalie bennett vlogs over there in a post or in your instagram stories and i'll be sure to reshare thank you all so much for watching this fall makeup tutorial give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and i'll catch you later there